going on everybody welcome again to my youtube channel so in today's video i am in kimuka you know most of you have been wanting to see or rather to know how kimuka looks like so we were driving all the way from gong town you can see that is uh, the gong hill so when you drive as you get inside like where that car is coming from that is now the kimuka area and uh as you go towards this side, this is you are going all the way to Suswa. So today I am not going to drive all the way to Suswa, but I'll just find out from, uh, you know, my driver how far it is from here to Suswa and also know if this road is complete. So let us drive around Kimuka just to see how the place looks like today. Let us get in. So this is the famous Kimuka. Many years ago it used to be a forest not really a forest but just a dry just a land someone's land ah. maybe with one shop maybe with one shop <laughs> but right now we got many of them so we can also give credit to to the road construction yeah, no, I can't hear you, you, you revolution you Devolution. Oh. So we give credit to devolution. You know, many good things are coming up. Kimuka is still under which county government? Kajiado. This is Kajiado. Kajado West. Ah. Now tell me about land also in Kemuka. Kemuka is still expensive. Still expensive. Mm -hmm. If you want cheap land from here, you will go about 20 kilometers. If you want something cheaper. Cheaper to me. Cheaper to me, like you know, uh, cheaper. One Cheaper means one acre, one million. Uh -huh. You have to go of maybe 20 kilometers away from here. 20 kilometers. Wow. Yeah, 20 kilometers. That is where you, you yes. are going to get something at least for, for one million. Wow. We got a big church here. Is it for Catholic? Is here? Pentecostal. Pentecostal. Ah. They are the ones on the street. I wouldn't want us to go that far, but just let's proceed a bit. So you say for an M? You get one M? 20 kilometers inside. But where we are now? Where we are now is still expensive. Still expensive. Still expensive. Talk of 14 M. No, now this one now maybe maybe eight, nine. Eight, nine? Yeah. An M. Yes. Wow. Yeah. I know I got many people who've been wanting to know how Kimoka looks like. And I know some of them, you know, they don't live in Kenya, so some of them have already bought land or they're aspiring to to buy a plot somewhere around this area. So some of them have usually request me to do a video of this side. So this is how it looks as you continue to drive inside. You know, I'm minding about fuel, you know, doing a hundred, close to two hundred <laughs> shillings a liter. It's not easy. <laughs> you also need to see part of Kimuka that is coming up. The back of Kimuka that is the coming up. Yeah, people are still staying. Yeah, and that's the famous Long Hills. Yeah, the guys are putting up some nice houses. But... I don't know, but I'm so sure about cold. You know, there's a time I was like, no, 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 no. I cannot invest around this area. Until I went to a place called Konabaridi. 
Yeah. Until I went to a place called Konabaridi yes. and I knew things are not the same. That place is cold. Every time of the day. You know, it was hot. And I wasn't just in a normal t shirt like like this. After two hours I couldn't talk. I didn't have a voice. I had so threatened all that. And I told myself I'm not going there unless I'm, you know, fully equipped. Yes. You know, this road can take you up to Konabaridi. Up to Konabaridi? Yeah, this road. Oh. This is part of the water that's showing you the water. Ah, for this journey. Yeah, now they can get this around here. Oh, they connected it up to here? Yeah. Not ah. from here, along this road, along the other road. Oh. They have really distributed this one because a lot of water and fresh water. water. Uh, now that you live ar around this area, how busy is the SGR? You can see it passing, you know. The, the one on this side is the one that takes the cargo to Ivasha. So at least, at least they, they, they just goes once in a day. Once a day? Yeah. Wow. Wow, there's a hotel here. It's a place for food and drinks. Up there. Okay. My friend, let us not go deeper. As you make the turn, can I just step down? Yes. Okay. okay, guys, I just decided to, you know, to step foot on the soil in Kimuka. And uh, you can see, when you proceed this, on this road, he's telling me it will take you all the way to Konabaridi. That is not where I'm going to. So, the whole of this area, this is Kimuka. And uh, he says for, you can still get uh, an acre of land. You know, when you drive like 20 kilometers inside, that is where you are going to find land for, you know, let's say an M per acre. But a place like Kimuka, I mean Kibiko, that is something different. So, this is how the place looks like. What I want us to do is... Uh, I want us to do a round video trip of this area of Kimuka just to see how the place looks like. So that is Ngong Hills. Someone has decided to construct his own road. And that is a tarmac road. Or is it Maram Road? Um, it's Maram. Either, but there's a road. Meaning if you have a car, it's not a, a bad thing. So that's still the area of Kimoka. Yeah. Okay. I request we proceed. Because what I didn't want, it's for us to go deeper. And uh, yet, it's just, you know, land. Because what I want to know, people should just come here and invest. That's all. Come on. People should just come and... friend of mine in Canada so there's a time I was telling her about about uh, Konabaridi how Konabaridi is how cold it is you know what she told me she just told me Pam I'm going to invite you to Canada <laughs> I'm going to yeah you're talking about cold so I'm going to invite you to Canada now when you are here you'll be able to tell whether that place is cold or Canada is cold. I was like, anyway, I surrender. If that's the case, mm -mm, I one give is, up. This one is cold for newcomers. For newcomers, right? But kind of nowadays, I'm beginning to enjoy the weather. You will enjoy the weather. As long as you wait, the more you stay here. It's been two years since I've been here. Yeah, that's, that's and you know what I like it, you know, when it's at night, the breeze, you know, sets in for some nice sleep. your window to be up because of the wind and you know I didn't know you are soft spoken until today <laughs> did I make you blush 
soft and me. Ah? The same sentence. Soft and you in one sentence. <laughs> That's a new one. People should not hear that. And then blush. People should not hear one. that. No. <laughs> Oops. Hey, slow on them. Don't injure them. No, I can't. They know. They know? Yes, and we know them. This is for the milk. Yes. They are mixed. Huh? They are mixed. They are mixed. Like this was a uh, which breed? This is African. Hey, this is a bull. Yeah. It's big. Man. So this is the school you are telling me about. It's a junior school. This one is made by the church. By the church, PCEA. The one we just passed. This is Kimuka on a sunny day. It's sunny, but at the same time it's cold. cold. <laughs> In life it's not balanced, but When you are taking your picture and the sun is, you know, it's just doing some justice to you. I like it that way. You know, so you, you tend to get a nice picture. You prayed when in the morning? I prayed. I, I usually pray by the way. <laughs> so can we just drive like just a little bit, just a few meters in, like we are going to, to Suswa. Okay, so guys, right ahead, that is back to Ngong. You can see this jar from afar. And I just want to show you a little bit of how if you're going to Kimuka, remember, to, to Suswa, you have to turn at this place. So, this is the road to, to Suswa. And you're telling me it's not complete ahead. It's about 10 kilometers. 10 complete, 10 kilometers about complete. 10 kilometers. No, about 10 kilometers not completed. Ah. And I think when it rains, it's just a mess down there. The 10, the 10 kilometers. It's actually, the mess is around some bridges that are not made. And that is why this road, now, this road, you know, there are not many people using it yeah, because of that because area. Of that. So we can just make a turn somewhere here. Maybe right ahead. You know, you are the driver. Is it? Yes. So this long time ago, I can say it used to be under one person. One person's land. One person's land. Yes. Wow. So you are telling me something about uh, when people decided to come along this area, Tungong. Yeah. Land was cheap. Our land was cheap. Uh -huh. Until 2007, 2008, uh -huh. when most people were running away from the areas that were affected by the post-election violence, ah, they chose... They Gong. chose this area. 
because, because this place was so quiet, was, was quiet, quiet and very peaceful during mm -hmm. the whole period. Mm -hmm. Then land became expensive from that time. From that time, yes. Ah. Before 2007, nobody's talking of millions. Ah, hundreds. Hundreds. Now, hundreds are no longer there. My people, this is Kimuka area, the famous town, the famous market. <laughs> Even down there, it's still Kimuka. So we are going back to Ngong. 